With batting pads, very much like um, batting gloves and any equipment, you must try them on. It's really imperative you get the sizing right. Protection is absolutely key, mainly because you will be hit on your pads more often than you hit on your gloves. So the, the protection on, on the shins and the knee for me are really important. So trying the pad on, making sure it fits, and particularly with young kids who are growing, you need to keep a regular check on whether that pad is still fit for purpose. You know, the pads will last quite a long time. So uh, get the sizing right in the first place, I would say, and they, they should last still for quite a bit. Once again, if it's not the right size, the knee roll might not be in the right position. If that's sitting just below your knee or just above, it's not giving you adequate protection. So the fit of the pad is imperative. The weight of the pads are a, a totally personal choice. If you get a lightweight pad that offers you just as good a protection as maybe a heavy one, naturally I will go for the lighter pair because the lighter your equipment, the more, more efficient you're gonna run, but don't compromise on, on the safety of the pad. I've always had a, a left and a right, right pad. Um, I preferred my kind of fasteners or, or buckles back in the day on the, on the outside, just so that when I'm running, there, there's no kind of connection uh, with the pads. So once again, rather than just trying the pads on, walk or maybe have a little jog with them on just to see what they feel like in, in reality.